up, guys? Here with the Wine Scribes, and we're here at Cordeterre Vineyards, and here with Jeff Peterson, professor of mm. wine studies, who is going to give us a little bit of knowledge about fruit set, and here in the Willamette Valley. Thanks. So um, we had fruit set uh, back in April, and it got really cold and fairly wet. So at that point in time, when the the flowers are turning into fruit, we it just wasn't an optimal uh, set. So what you see here is you see these these uh, clusters of Pinot Noir that have gone through Veraison, and Veraison is that French term for basically color change. So we've gotten through lag phase where they're only green and we're getting into Veraison and we're seeing this development of the fruit. And then uh, what you see here though is these clusters that are not very tight, um, which means there was a lot of the, a, a pretty poor fruit set. So this year will be a much lower yield than most. Um, one of the things that they can do to kind of increase the quality of these lower grapes, and they've already done it here, is they go through and they cut off a uh, third fruit that is higher up. And then the other thing that they're doing here is they've taken off the leaves on this side to, to help with the, um, the uh, pressure of uh, funguses and especially powdery mildew. So in the morning then, what you see is that you'll get some wind and you'll get the sun on here and it'll help it dry out and that will kind of keep the fruit gr growing and, and ripening. So in a, in, a, in a good year, how would you describe what uh, a good fruit set looks like? Well, a, cr a good fruit set would look like, so here's one bunch that actually looks pretty good. And see how tight that is? You can, you can see there's, there's not what's a lot of called shatter. There's not a lot of stuff coming out of that. But then when you go through over here, these are just really loose. Mm -hmm. Now, What'll happen anyway when we get through this is in some ways they would just have to drop some fruit anyway. A lot of people argue that you want to be between two and three tons per acre. So in, a, in one way you might be dropping less anyway. So there are kind of some advantages to this lower fruit set, but they also want to make sure that they get a decent crop. So um, normally you would go through and you'd kind of wait and then you'd kind of drop fruit a little bit. Uh, to make sure that you hit that two to and a half, three ton um, uh, limit that most people want.